Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at the screen time features that have been added in iOS 12. So these screen time features are designed to help you manage your time that you use on your iOS devices more effectively so helping you control which apps you use and in particular how long you're spending using your devices so you can help balance how you use your time in general. So you access these new screen time options by going to settings and there's a new option down here called screen time so if I tap on it and this is the main screen that you're, gr you're greeted with so at the top we've got an overview of, of our current screen time so as you can see I've got mine there 3 hours 35 now the great thing about this is this is synced via iCloud so this figure that you see at the top is the total device time across all my iOS devices so in my case I've got my iPhone and my iPad and you can see it's broken up into categories so I've got social networking, entertainment and then productivity and you have other categories so I think there's like an education one uh, and utilities I think uh, so you've got different categories there. Now if I tap on it I get more information so I get a nice detailed graph and it's actually on a timeline so you can see throughout the day how the usage changes and you can see limits that I've set Now I'll talk about limits in a minute and down here you can see I've got some details on the actual usage that I've been using based on individual apps you see it just updated there um, so it's got websites I've been using, uh, apps that I've been using and I can obviously t tap show more to see more. Next we've got pickups. So these basically display how many times we've picked up our phones every time we've turned the screen on from sleep and it will give you your total number of pickups throughout the day and your average per hour and um, tells you when you tend to pick up more and then we've got notifications so it shows us all the notifications we've received throughout the day um, it gives you an average again and it shows you it breaks it down into the different apps so you can get a so you can see what kinds of notifications you're getting and what do you want to do based on that now in the top right hand corner we've actually got devices so if I go to that you can see I can choose from viewing all of my devices just my iPhone or my iPad so I can actually view data from other devices uh, on any device which is quite handy and as well as today's usage you've also got last seven days so this will show a nice graph with a breakdown of each day uh, of your usage so you can see your weekly total your sort of your averages everywhere and again you've got the breakdown of apps pickups and notifications so this is basically the usage part of screen time now we get onto the options that you can set so we've got this first thing here called downtime now you do have to set up a passcode to use this um, so I'll just type mine in and downtime is effectively time where you want to have your device usage limited so save during certain times throughout the day maybe you've got a time you like to sit down and be kind of device free and it's also useful for parents at one use case perhaps if you want to have some time for where your children's devices are kind of locked down and they can either not use them at all or they can only use access certain apps so perhaps only education apps so this is where you can set the timing for that so when it starts when it ends uh, and you can choose block at downtime so that will effectively block the entire device off at downtime so they can't really use it at all. App limits is what we've got next. This is effectively where you can set different categories of apps that are limited during at certain times. So as an example I set up one just for this video called entertainment. So basically after three hours of entertainment apps as you can see at the top all of the apps that come under the entertainment category that are installed on my device will be blocked so I can go and edit the apps and I can choose a different category so if I want to have also social media apps having a three hour limit every day then I can have it that way as well. So let me just cancel out that for now and I can delete the limit over there obviously. Um, I can add more limits just by tapping that there and then we've got always allowed so these are apps which you may want to always have allowed on the device whether downtime is on or whether the limits have been reached. So this is useful for perhaps if you're a parent and you've, you've got your device's child set up with limits but perhaps you always want them to be able to access an app which they can uh, use such as an educational app or perhaps an app such as WhatsApp if that's how they contact you you might want them to have that all the time or perhaps Maps if they may need that if they're lost somewhere and they need to have access to that. By default phone is always allowed so you can't turn that off but all these other apps you can add individually so basically any app installed on your device. And then we've got content and privacy restrictions and these are basically your previous restrictions that iOS has always had so they've been removed from the general section of settings and now it moved into here. I can change my passcode for screen time and I can turn it off 
and I can set up screen time for family. So screen time for family is what's going to allow the parents to set and control these limits from their own device. So that's basically it for the screen time features in iOS 12. It includes a very comprehensive set of tools which allows you to control either yours or your children's or whoever's usage of your device and help you manage your time that you spend using your iOS devices. Um, if you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video then do leave them as a comment on this video and please also do subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen and do consider watching the videos that are either side of the logo. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.